Nikki Haley did this thing where after losing to Trump in New Hampshire last night, she walks out on stage to massive cheers and she sort of gives a we did it victory speech. And then at the very end, she goes, oh, and by the way, Trump won. By the way, Trump is the winner here. Now, good for Nikki Haley to the extent that she is actually now willing to talk about the Trump dementia situation, cognitive situation, whatever you want to call it. She very upfront in her speech again referred to Trump mistaking Haley for Nancy Pelosi just a few days ago. I do think that this is a smart thing for Haley to do, particularly at this time in the race. I do think it's also too little too late. You'll also hear someone in the back. This is very funny. Just listen and see if you hear. The other day, Donald Trump accused me of not providing security at the Capitol on January 6th. So there is a there is a woman in the audience with absolutely perfect comic timing who yelled, he's geriatric in that very short lull there. And and she actually did even more. Now, I've long called for mental competency tests for politicians over the age of 75. <laughs> that same woman in that just per, I mean, the timing is perfect in that lull yells out politicians that don't wear depends, referring, of course, to the adult diaper. Incredible comic timing Trump claims he'd do better than me in one of those tests. Maybe he would, maybe he wouldn't. But if he thinks that, then he should have no problem standing on a debate stage with me. Right. All right. More substantively, Nikki Haley also points out Trump's been a loser for our party and lover or hater, policy, whatever. Nikki Haley is absolutely correct in her analysis. Here. With Donald Trump, Republicans have lost almost every competitive election. We lost the Senate. We lost the House. We lost the White House. We lost in 2018, we lost in 2020, and we lost in 2022. The worst kept secret in politics is how badly the Democrats want to run against Donald Trump. And then a perfectly timed Trump's a loser from a gentleman there. Really, actually quite a crowd that really knows how to interject. She's absolutely correct. And I was texting yesterday. I'll actually pull it up to get it exact. I was te texting last night as the results were coming in with a friend of mine who is a uh, Nikki Haley supporter who will vote Biden if uh, if if uh, Trump is the nominee. And I said, what's the state of mind for the Nikki donors based on tonight? And he said, don't look up, referring, of course, to the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio film in which people are just ignoring reality and said, we have learned nothing. We have learned nothing. Uh, speaking about uh, uh, re Republicans, Nikki Haley pointing out that um, she is the one who is persevering here. There were 14 and now there are two and she is one of only two. At one point in this campaign, there were 14 of us running. And we were at 2% in the polls. Well, I'm a fighter. And I'm scrappy. And now we're the last one standing next to Donald Trump. And today we got close to half of the vote. Now, this is all true, but she really does not have a path to the nomination. And this is this is one of the things I hate about politics, which is that we all know the people in that room know we the viewers know Nikki Haley knows that she maybe can stick this out for one more primary. The conversation minutes before she comes out on stage, we all know is obviously do I get out tonight or do I get out tomorrow or do I get out after the next primary? That's the conversation. She knows it's over. Her supporters, everybody knows it's over. And yet we all have to suspend disbelief 
and pretend that last night was great and she has a path and she's scrappy. This is the worst of politics in the sense that everybody buys in to this delusion. The primary is over unless Trump is in prison or dead. And the D the RNC says, hey, you know what? Even if he got the delegates, we're going to nominate someone else at the convention because we can't have someone who's in prison. He's going to lose 80 percent of the country said they wouldn't vote for him. But we all have to kind of pretend that this is really a campaign that's continuing. It's not. And here is Nikki Haley, just almost like a footnote mentioning. And by the way, Trump did win tonight. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on his victory tonight. He earned it. And I want to acknowledge that. Okay. Now, you've all heard the chatter among the political class. They're falling all over themselves saying this race is over. Yeah. And it is. Well, I have news for all of them. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. All right. So listen, Nikki Haley, she might get out in the next few days. She might stick it out for one more primary, but it is essentially over. And that is her pseudo victory speech, which was actually a concession speech. We're going to take a quick break. After the break, we will look at Trump's actual victory speech, a very ugly and disturbing speech. That's for sure. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression, uh, you're certainly not alone. Millions of Americans are searching for ways to just feel better. Many feel they've exhausted every option. They don't know where to turn. If that sounds like you, then guided ketamine therapy from Mindbloom could be a game changer. Our sponsor Mindbloom can help you potentially feel better faster. I've been reading about ketamine therapy and ketamine treatment for a long time for depression and anxiety. We've done interviews about it on the show. There are many promising studies and Mindbloom is the leader in ketamine therapy. They've helped tens of thousands of people overcome anxiety and depression. Mind Bloom's expert clinicians and guides can help you feel better and quickly, not weeks or months. And you can complete treatment entirely from the comfort of your home. In a study of over a thousand Mind Bloom clients, 89% reported improvements in anxiety and depression after just four sessions. And now Mind Bloom has new programs that go beyond just depression and anxiety. To overcome life's everyday challenges, Mindbloom is offering my audience $100 off your first six session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com slash Pacman and use the promo code Pacman. Break free from the anxiety, the depression, feel better with Mindbloom. The link is down below.